Hey everybody, Kevin here with Pursuing Pixels, and this is episode number 133 of 15 Minutes of Game, and I'm going to be playing some new Super Lucky's Tale here, and this is a game that uh, they just updated to the uh, new version on Game Pass. It's been updated for a while on Xbox Game Pass, that is. Uh, and I actually played the demo of this a while back. We talked about it on the podcast a long time ago. I think most of us, if not all of us, checked out the demo. Uh, but this game is really, really awesome. Again, I just played this level here, but... We'll play through this tutorial, and if you like what you see, I'll have links in the video description. Uh, but if you like 3D platformers, I would say this game is a no-brainer. You know, I've played stuff like A Hat in Time and some of these other indie... Just a tiny little bit of a ukulele. Uh, just, you know, some of these other indie 3D platformers that are going for, like, that Nintendo 64 era. Let me just breeze through this. Um, and, uh, this one just holds up, or not holds up, stands up to those, like, beyond a shadow of a doubt. It's just so, so, so good. Um, there's so many great controls. It's like a little bit of a slippery bit of momentum, but it just takes a second to get used to. And then once you get this, use of this diving, burrowing mechanic, oh, man. So let's just start, uh, unlocking and exploring around the world here. And it's this first opening level, which is oftentimes the case with, uh, you know, especially a 3D platformer. And it certainly was the case with a hat and time as well, which maybe I'll feature. I got to go back to that game. Uh, maybe I'll feature that game in a, uh, in this series as well. But, uh, that one, you know, the very first level was like far and away my favorite level that I played so far. And then it just became like a mixed bag. Like there were still some great levels, but... Um, man, I forgot you just get a double jump right off the bat in this game. And then your right trigger is going to... Okay, so that's like that burrowing, like instead of... I need to like hit that switch, but then yeah, this is where you kind of learn to burrow underground to get these coins. And yeah, this game is just freaking phenomenal. It controls so great. Oh, man, I'm so pumped they added this version because it's it's so awesome that they went back and uh, kind of updated this game and modernized it or at least, like, tweaked some level design. Like, Super Lucky's Tale was the original release, and then they kind of updated it to... I don't, I don't know exactly what they did because this is the only version I've played, but I know they just, like, tweaked some of the level design. They added a bunch of new stuff. They clean, I think they just, like, cleaned everything up and, like, really took a second pass at this game, which, you know, it didn't get even bad reviews, I don't think, upon its release. It was just, like, maybe, you know, a little bit disappointing, maybe, like, uh, just like uh, Ukulele, the initial release of that. Um, I know the second game that's kind of more of a side-scroller, I know that game's got a little more hype around it. Um, seemed like they kind of... Hit the, hit the formula when they went more like the Donkey Kong Country route. I love the introduction to this character here. And what a great opening level. And a great job of like these, uh, you know, it's not full-blown Banjo-Kazooie style voices, but I'm really digging the, <laughs> the kind of voice acting. I'll whoop your ass real quick. Oh, okay, they just disappeared. <laughs> Thought it was going to be a little mini boss. Yeah, there's like a ton of stuff you can do on this level, too. It's really cool, so I got to put this giant head back together, which you can see this huge statue in the background. Um, but just like, yeah, getting into the cage, just like Donkey Kong Country or Kong, you can spell lucky on each level. Like, just the combat feels so nice. You can, I think you can even, like, come up, yeah, from underneath the enemies. Uh, but you can't burrow underneath the, you know, cement. You can obviously do this slide that has a limit to it, but holy shit, this game is, this game is top notch, at least this level. Maybe I'll play a little bit beyond this in this video, depending on, uh, if I'm able to stop myself, basically, or not. Look at the, just look at the fluidity of this. It's so good. What do we have here? This looks like some kind of teleport. Oh, you know what? I bet you it's like a mini game. The only gripe I would have, I bet you it's not going to be as long for this mini game. But like when you're booting up some of the levels, like the loading can take a little while. So you can like kind of get sucked out of the experience. But yeah, this like uh, kind of challenge level is not seeming to be the case. So and yeah, this is just so like everything I love about like the Mario Galaxy games and the uh, uh Everything I love about 3D platformers, basically, this game is just doing it pretty much to perfection. I gotta be honest. Um, again, this is all I've played is this level, but if, if this game can keep up this uh, pace 
where I am in and anyone else who plays this game is in for an absolute treat. Um, cause yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm just going to gush this whole video, I guess, but, uh, let's, uh, keep playing some more and exploring the, uh, level here. Once it loads back up, maybe it'll take a little bit longer to get back into the main, uh, overworld or the main level. There we go. And it seems like I triggered something too. I feel like this is not where I was at all. <laughs> I don't know what the hell just happened, but okay. Maybe that's just where it launches me. I guess it does kind of look like an exit over there, so. Open no sesame. I forget if, do I need to grab these or what do I need to do with these? I probably should have grabbed that very first one. Okay, still got a few more letters to collect. Yeah, I definitely need to grab these. Oh yeah, they're heavy. So I can't, yeah, I can't even jump actually. I was gonna say I can't do my normal platforming, but I can't even jump. But yeah, you can see this robot in the background will slowly but surely start to come to life. I love the art style of this game, too. Everything's just so, like, bright, colorful, clean. Sorry, taking a sip of my drink there for a second, but obviously needed to bring this one first. This would have obviously shown you what you clearly needed to do. But typical me just trying to push the boundaries. Not really pushing the boundaries, but not doing the thing that's like directly in front of me because I'm always like worried that I'm gonna progress like to a point where I can't go back although I'm guessing this is gonna be more of a level based thing oh nice where I can like go back into levels but I don't really know I don't know how like the map's gonna work or the overworld or whatever yes and yeah combat just feels so good the coin collecting feels so great uh, I feel like maybe I can put something in that hand. I hit that already. Shoot. Love this song, too. It's, like, so just, like, zippy and cheerful. You know what? I think I gotta put this in that statue's hand. Yep, you can see the little, like, orb kind of lighting up in its hand. There we go. What do you got for me? Some coins? Oh, you know what? I, I saw that gem earlier, too, and I missed it. But let's uh, take a deep dive. Checkpoints refill health and respawn. Okay, so yeah, some of these levels seem like they're a little bit longer, too. Again, I mean, this is the opening level. And I'm not, you know, it hasn't obviously been that long yet. But there's already been, like, different vibes in each of these, like, mini zones. Okay, I can skip the level, I guess. Oh, this is, like, a seemingly a boss battle? I don't know. I don't actually remember this. Maybe I didn't find this. Uh. Okay, okay. Little mini boss. Yeah, I definitely did not do this before. Oh, nice. One up. And some other stuff. What the heck? There's a ton. This kind of reminds me of, like, Crash Bandicoot almost. And, there, and, like, I saw in some of, like, the achievements or challenges, like, there's clearly going to be some, like, um, 2D levels and stuff like that. Like, they're just, they're going all out on, like, the retro nostalgia, and I'm all in. That's just, you know by now if you've watched enough, <laughs> you know, this is the 133rd video in this series. So you know by now what uh, what I'm into. Um, but, yeah, this is, this game is just absolutely awesome. Other than this slightly, slightly long load time. But I can live with it. I think this is... Yeah, that's where I just went. Or just came from. I didn't fully explore over here. Yeah, I don't think I can dive. Oh, yeah, I can. I didn't realize I could dive under that mud. And just like Mario, you got the invisible coins that like trigger once you kind of walk over their path, I guess. 
Oh, that looked like a little nook. A little cranny I could get into. And yeah, you just automatically jump out of the, like, sand or dirt or whatever if you're uh, burrowing, if you get to, like, some paved ground. Actually, hold on. Before I do this, what the hell is going on here? Okay. Okay, so I'm just missing the C. I wonder where that could be. I'm gonna actually, before I fuck this up, I'm gonna set that down there. Because I don't wanna... I don't wanna miss my chance to get that C. Where have I not explored yet? You know what? I don't think I went over here. Because I went straight to that portal and then it like launched me to that other part of the map. Yeah, you got double jumping, you got burrowing. You got unbelievably fluid gameplay. Like this is like, I'm, I was saying that earlier in the video that this like lives up to the uh, N64 heyday. There it is. Um, but I would, I would say, at least again, just based on this level, and I am the king of hyperbole, as I say many times, but th this may very well surpass those games if it can hold up and, and keep this uh, keep this pace up. Oh, no. The head just disappeared. I think I got to get back up there now. Like, yeah, the sense of momentum just fucking it's just amazing so yeah by now you probably know that you want to check this game out but uh if for some reason you don't then i guess you've probably already stopped watching but if uh i would say at this point no need to uh spoil yourself beyond this opening level which you can play the demo of this on nintendo switch you can play the demo on uh Xbox is where I'm playing at the moment, Xbox One, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's available almost anywhere. You can play the demo almost anywhere, but I'm maybe going to check out, uh, see what this next level has to offer before I pull the plug on this video here. Because, yeah, this is just the opening, and this is, even though it's been a little while since I played that, but that was all somewhat familiar to me. So let's see what else uh, this game has in store. Let's get my first... Uh, Star? Clover? <laughs> I think I 100 percent of that level, though. But yeah, look at the, like, just the animations, and, like, I just love, absolutely love. Yeah, I got more than enough coins. I love that there's, like, a max, but you can get more than the max coins. Obviously, yeah, there's a button to just quickly replay the level, but no need since I 100 percented it. Um, and let's see where uh, we go from here. Um... Yeah, I don't know if there's going to be like an overworld or if I'm just going to jump to the next level. I guess since it's got this book, maybe you're going to use the book to like s jump in and out and turn the page. You know, jump in and out of different chapters. Oh, here you go. Looks like there is going to be some kind of overworld. Oh, this is awesome. Very Mario-esque. Get enough clovers to unlock the door. There was clearly another zone already open. Meow, kibble, baki, chow. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I heard meow and kibble in that sentence. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so those are golems, clover pages is what I'm looking for. Okay. I was going to say, I don't know if there's any point of that bell, but... Okay, so Heavy Heads is where I just came from. Oh, there's a bunch of levels open. There's Aqueducts, whatever this is over here. There's like a pit that I can dive into. Let's see what's in here first. Male Golem? <laughs> oh, man. That's not even really funny. I don't even know why I laughed at that. <laughs> it's gonna be some kind of puzzle level yeah okay I'll give this a short try if it takes way too long then I won't mess with this too much ground pound what does that do 
Skip, start over. I think I have to move these, obviously. I don't know how. Did I just hit them? Oh, they move until they stop. Okay. Oh, this is cool. Okay, this one's not too bad, I don't think. Got that cyber protocol. Those skills coming in handy. Boom. That's one, that's two. Solved, buddy. Just coins? I'm assuming those are going to be useful in some capacity. Let's see how far I can slide. Oh, I get a clover page. Heck yeah. Cool. Add it to the textbook. <laughs> Again, I don't know why I'm laughing at these. They don't, uh, they're not particularly funny. Um, cheeky, I guess, is maybe the the proper term. But let's dive into uh, another level here before I pull the plug on the video. Dungeon run? Okay, I'm, I'm going to try that. Just for Jeff Kanata. I'm gonna try the dungeon run. Even though I know you're not watching, this one's for you, Jeff. <laughs> I don't know if anybody listens to the Slash Film Cast or DLC. Uh, he's got a bunch of other shows and podcasts. Uh, oh man, what was his YouTube show? Total, the Totally Rad Show, I think. Um, so this one's this one's for you. Heck yeah, maybe this is one of the 2D levels. It certainly looks like one. Loving the music. Holy shit, this level is huge. This is kind of, oh, it's I'm more on speed run status. Holy crap. And it's still got the lucky letters. It's got slow-mo. Oh shit. Hold on. Okay, I thought I could restart quickly. Am I auto running? Oh, I am auto-running. Okay, interesting. I didn't realize that at first. That's good to know. Ah, I missed the Y I saw it down there. God damn it. I'm not usually a huge fan of auto runners, even though I've done a couple in this series, actually, but um, this is pretty cool. A little bit bummed because I just didn't realize that's what it was at first, so I just whiffed a bunch of, missed a bunch of stuff, but got that clover page and got that achievement, whatever it was that I needed to do to get my, I don't know, I never care about achievements. I actually turn off all the notifications to, uh, oh, I didn't 100% it though, so. I guess that would be an incentive to go back, but just for the sake of uh, showing off another level here, uh, let me just dive into another one before I call it here and check out maybe like a challenge or two. Um, I don't know exactly. Maybe there's just going to be like a main objective, the lucky, and then a few other things on each level, or maybe there's a handful of clover pages on each level. Um, and possibly you get one for getting lucky for collecting it. So, okay, let's check out the uh, aqueducts. I think I only got one. So I should be able to get at least two more there and open this gate. Let's go. Oops. Sorry about that. Thought it was frozen there for a sec. I'm always so, I get so mad when I do that during a video. Like, I'm just like, no, I want it to be, I don't want any of the, like, the menus to pop up. Like, when I was making the Jamestown Plus video, it, like, pops up, like, the Nintendo Switch controller screen, and it drives me nuts. But whatever. I'm not gonna, not gonna sweat it too much. Oh, you can home in on an enemy when you do the pounce or whatever. Yeah. Nice and short text uh, displays. I love that. Oh, this is a 2D level too. Cool. That's awesome. 
Oops. And in a, just a totally different manner than the other one. Like, just not an auto runner, I guess. So not a, I guess not a totally different manner, but... Uh, I should be able to get up there with a double jump. Yeah. Oh! Yes. That kind of looks like a secret tunnel. Yes. I missed the L already? No way. I won't settle for that. Where the heck is that thing? I bet you it was like backwards. Right at the start of the level or something. Yep. I was gonna say, I guess I shouldn't say for sure, but you just know. But you can't grab ledges or anything. You definitely have to jump and get up there. Although it seems pretty forgiving. I definitely feel like I got lucky there. Back, uh, back over on this part when I was heading backwards. Yeah, it's almost got that, like, Sonic, uh, in, like, some of the more modern Sonic games. It's got that, like, homing attack vibe. Oh, no! Oh, just when I hit the checkpoint, though. Perfect. And you just lose a heart. That's nothing. I can live with that. I love that slow-mo when you're coming close to one of the lucky letters. Nice. I love how that homes in on the enemies, too, and homes in on these switches. gonna launch me to the background before I head along let's just make sure oh wait this is how I continue along so there was like a clock back there oh it's for this challenge I was like am I on a timer like I was at the beginning of that other level no fuck Come on. This is so Mario. Like, they just straight up stole that music. <laughs> Not stole it, but man, is that heavily, heavily inspired. And maybe it's not Mario, actually, now that I think about it, but there's definitely another game that uses that, uh, that time running out melody. I just have to grab it. There we go. Guess it's just a challenge of dodging all that stuff. There we go. Oh shit. Okay, there's that cat again. Let's get the checkpoint. Just for good measure, refill my health. Fill my gems. Maxing out over here. Okay, I must have just got... Oh, that's awesome. So it just straight up shows you once you've collected enough gold. So you can see... Okay, so it looks like you can maybe get four um, clover pages per level. Gonna take... Oh, I was gonna take the slow road, but not today. Yes. I still feel like... No, I got the K already. No! Yes. No! Oh, get out of here. I s still gave it to me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, I'm playing way too reckless here. Just stay. Fucking. I could probably dive back in there, but I want to see... Okay, I guess you can climb up on ledges. I want to see where this takes me if I make it in here. Ooh. All for nothing. I guess the one-up's worth it. Oh, and the one-up refills your health. Oh, that's almost cheap, but that's awesome. There we go, there we go. Sprint. Golem, buddy. Heck yeah. Another clover page, and we're on our way. So yeah, 
I am in to Super Lucky's Tale. New Super Lucky's Tale, I should say. Because, again, this is the, uh... The original game was just called Super Lucky's Tale. And, uh, yeah, New Super Lucky's Tale just kind of... I don't know. Just, like I said, just cleaned up the original game. Re-kind of thought the level design. Cleaned up the controls a little bit. The graphics. Everything about it, I, I believe. I don't know all the details, but, uh... Again, I'll have links to the de to the developers page, the you know the game's website, anything like that, in the video description as always. And yeah, I I can't recommend this game enough. Uh, I've been I would say or I will say that I'm a bigger fan of the 3D levels, but I hope that's what I'm just about to unlock here. Uh, the 2D levels are still a lot of fun, but I really love just like the sense of momentum when I'm in the 3D levels. Like it just feels amazing. Like yeah, just this like. I'm getting that uh, Mario 64 and a short hike vibe of just, like, I just love controlling this character no matter what. Um, and particularly in these 3D zones, like, I I'm just in love. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to check out this next level, but I'm going to call the video there. And thanks for watching, as always. Check out the links in the video description, and take care.